Hello everyone and welcome to Unstoppable Bonus Gaming. Today I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to make your Pokemon as strong as it possibly can be. There are two things that factor in that make your Pokemon stats the way they are. These two things are IVs and EVs. IV standing for individual values and EV standing for effort values. Before training a Pokemon it's important to know what their base stats are and what they're already strong in. For example I'm going to be using this Dragonair. Here are a list of Dragonair's base stats. Its highest stat being attack at 84 and it has a three way in its second highest stat between special attack, special defense and speed. The build I'm going for is a very fast physical attacking Pokemon so I'm obviously going to have to train it in attack and speed but before I show that I'm going to have to show you guys about natures. A Pokemon's nature is either going to raise its stats or lowering it depending on which nature you have. So when training a Pokemon you're going to look for one with a nature that's going to be able to benefit the build you're trying to create. As you can see here my Dragonair has a naive nature which is plus speed minus special defense. The minus special defense is not really important because Dragonite doesn't really need it but the plus speed is very important because the build I'm going for needs to be very fast. Now that you know a little bit about natures, it's time to move on to the more important stuff, which are EV and IVs. Let's start off by first talking about IVs. IVs, or individual values, are different stats that vary depending on which Pokemon you catch. Each Pokemon is going to have a different set of IVs for each stat. IVs range from 0 to 31, 31 being the best and 0 being the worst. As you can see here though, my Dragonair does not have the best IVs so it's not the best Pokemon in the world. But if you find a Pokemon that is really good but has low IVs, it's not the end of the world because there is an item in Pokemon Planet called IV Reset which can reset your IVs randomly. But be careful because these items are very expensive and not guaranteed to give you great IVs every time. Besides that, IVs are pretty stationary and you can never change them ever again. Now after you found a Pokemon with good IVs and a decent nature, it's time Time for you to start training those EVs. EVs or effort values are the actual training of the Pokemon. Each Pokemon has a set effort value that it's going to give you every time you faint it in a battle. For example, you will see me here training this Dragonair against a Magikarp because every time a Magikarp gets fainted, my Dragonair gains one speed EV. Now you're probably thinking, what is the max to this training? Well, you can only have up to 510 EVs on your Pokemon, but each stat can only hold 252. And since I want to train my Pokemon in attack and speed, I'm going to put 252 in attack and 252 in speed. Now you people that are really smart at math, you're going to notice that once I put 252 EVs in each stat, that's only going to add up to 504 EVs total, which out of 510 is not all of them. For some reason, Pokemon has put in 6 extra EVs. Some say it's so you can fix your mistakes and other say it so you can strengthen weaknesses. There are two ways to raise your EVs in Pokemon Planet. You can fight wild Pokemon or you can feed your Pokemon vitamins. Down in the description below there is a list of places that you can best train your EVs for each stat. And now that you've watched this video you should have a slight understanding on how nature's EVs and IVs work to create the best Pokemon possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all next time on Unstoppable Bonus Gaming. Thanks for watching.